Hi, how are you? I hope you're good. Today I come to you with a book haul. Uh, over Christmas I received one or two books, but I also received quite a bit gift card money for Barnes and Nobles and I think Amazon as well. So what I did with that is I bought a lot of books. Not a ton, don't get me wrong, I only got like well, six books that I got are from a full series and then the other five are separate. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into this because I just, I bought a lot of books, but you know, it was not my money. It was gift money. And when you get gift money, then it's basically guilt free. So first I have The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. I got the little mass market paperback of The Wise Man's Fear because it was cheaper you know, the big thing is huge, and I love floppy books, don't get me wrong, but this was cheaper. I wanted to buy a lot, so I just got the cheaper option. Mass market paperbacks are not the best when reading, especially when they're this long. This book is over a thousand pages. My gosh. I just read The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, and I think by this time you should have seen a book review that I posted. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I really loved the book, so of course I got the second book, and I'm really looking forward to reading this despite not hearing the best of things, but that's okay. I'm gonna give this a read. I'll review it too. We'll see how I like it. Hopefully it's good. I have um, the best of hopes with this one, so hopefully it's good. Um, the next book I have here was a gift um, from my, I think my brother got this for me. I think he bought one of the Barnes & Noble blind date books. You know how they wrap the book, they give a synopsis, or they just have like different things that you might be interested in. Anyway, he got me one of those, and the book that was inside is this one, and it's Midnight at the Blackbird Cafe by Heather Weber, and I think this um, cover is adorable. I have no idea what this actually is about, though. I had never heard of this before. I don't know who this author is. Is, but I mean so it looks like this book is set in Alabama it's about a girl her name is Anna Kate she returns back home I think it's her home um, to settle the estate of her grandmother who used to own this cafe and called the Blackbird Cafe so she has to deal with all of that but while there she has to figure out I think it's more of a coming-of-age story um, I don't know if there's any sort of um, like thriller aspect to this. I don't think so. I think it's more of a heartwarming story than anything, but um, I am very much so excited about this because this book also has a lot to do with food, uh, specifically this pie, and whenever a books talk about food, I just enjoy it because I love food, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, the next book I got is the third book in the Chronicles of the Bitch Queen. This is The Dragon of Jin Saying, Saying? I don't know, by K.S. Veloso? I don't know. Um, anyway, I have the first two books of this series and I saw that the third book was released and I figured might as well pick it up. Look at that. These covers look so epic. I unfortunately don't really know what these books are about, but the title itself of the series has me sold. It's called Chronicles of the Bitch Queen. Of course I want to read it. How could you not? So yeah, I got the third book. Hopefully it's good. I think it's only a trilogy. The next book I have is called Wildwood Whispers by Willa Reese. And I picked this up. I have never heard of this book before. I picked it up solely because of the cover. It's supposed to be a witch book. How witchy? I don't know. I think it's more whimsical and um, light than anything. I looked up some reviews. They seemed pretty positive. I kind of want to go into this blindly not knowing much because I love when I can find a little hidden gem that I've never heard of before because when I don't have a lot of outside sources kind of like narrowing my viewpoint on a book it's really nice because I can just have a good time. So hopefully this is good. Like I said, witches. That's it. That's all I know. So hopefully it's good. I, I think it'll be great. Um, the next book I got was a gift and it's a graphic novel. I'm so excited for this and it's the first um, volume of Lock and Key by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. I've wanted to read Lock and Key since the beginning of time, I feel. I've wanted to read this for so long, but you betcha I never picked it up because these things are expensive. This little thing is like $25. I can't afford that. Maybe I could, but I don't want to 
I just I'm just too cheap you know I'm just too cheap um, I'm so excited to read this because I've held off from watching the show on Netflix because I want to read these first but again I just have not picked them up I can't wait to read this as soon as possible and then maybe possibly I'll see if my library has the rest of the volume so I can continue reading them because Oh, I'm just so excited to actually own this and I love Joe Hill. I've read books from him before so I don't know my hopes are high with this one. This one seems to be really beloved by everyone so hopefully I'm a fan. If you've read it I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, the last books that I have to show with you are nothing um, crazy. They're all a part of the same series. I went a little overboard with these because they're kind of cheap. They're only around like five to ten dollars each. So I figured I would get the rest of the series that I had been wanting. So I have, um, the rest of the cozy mysteries of a witch city mystery. Um, they're the books that I've been talking about recently with all of the cats on the covers. Um, I have no idea what order these go in at all. So I'm gonna show them to you at random. First I have See Something. See, there's a cat right there. So cute. And then I have, um, they're so ridiculous, Murder Take Two. Look at that. Cute. And then I have, what's next? Final Exam. These covers are just so cute. They're just so cute. This is Final Exam. And then I have Bells, Spells, and Murders. This is the winter version, I guess. I don't know. Then I have It Takes a Coven. They're just so cute. They're just so cute. Um, and then I have um, the last one here is called Grave Heirs. So stinking cute. Ah, I'm so excited. I knew that I had to take advantage when I had the gift cards because I know that if I hadn't have had those gift cards, I don't know if I would have bought the rest of the books in the series, but I'm just really happy to have them. I can't wait to do like a cozy mystery reading vlog of sorts, probably with that series. So uh, keep an eye out for that, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, those are all the books that I wanted to haul for today. That's all I really have. Who knows, there's probably other books in other places that I don't know where I've put them because my book collection is just way out of hand. But you know, it happens. Maybe I'll do an unhaul eventually. I probably should do one of those. Um, it would be good for me. But until then, that's all for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books. Thoughts and opinions would be great. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.